Hi everyone, welcome back to GM Details. In today's video, just a quick one, we're going to have a look at Auto Glimpse Polar Blaster Snow Foam Lance and Polar Blast Snow Foam. Let's take a look and see how we go on. Good to see a brand on the channel for a change that's older than me. Auto Glim Heritage going back over 50 years. That's fantastic. And now they're coming back with some really good products in the Polar range. So before we apply the snow foam, we'll just give the car a good rinse down just to get rid of all the loose dirt and debris that's on it so that the snow foam itself can get a chance to work on the traffic film. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you'll know back in December that I started using Garage Therapy Tire Serum. Um, it's actually had three coatings so far, and you can see here it's actually easily cleaning quite well just with water alone. You can see the beading effect on it and how well the tire actually looks. It's a very, very good product. So anyway, distractions aside, Here's what you've came to see is the Auto Glim Polar Blaster Snow Foam Lance and Polar Blast Snow Foam. Both looking resplendent in their purple and white colour scheme. Now the Snow Foam Lance bottle has a wide neck as you can see from the bottle cap there and on the back has all your dilutions that you need for Polar Blast, Polar Wash and Polar Seal which is fantastic. Good, good list of instructions on the back of the two and a half litre bottle of snow foam for £17. My god, this better be good. Now, in the Polar Blaster kit itself, you have the base bottle, which is a litre, and in the top, it's already made up other than putting on the attachment on it for the capture. And if you disconnect that, then you have the quick connect connector nothing in the in the box for nil fisk or q or bosch although if you look on the website uh, from auto glim they do sell them separately on their own website so to mix up the five to one recommended dilution as stated on the bottle then basically that's six parts so you just take your 500 milliliters divide it by six and it gives you 83.3333 so I'm just going to round it up to 85 milliliters just for the sake of it. So today I'm using the Karcher adapter on the snow foam lance just clips into the quarter inch quick connect adapter Nice and easy to operate. If you haven't used the capture before, it's just a matter of push in and twist. The varial lens comes out. And push in and twist the opposite way and that locks and loads. Ready for action. So Autoglim promise a rich snow foam and it certainly is rich and thick. If you apply it nice and evenly, it goes on very well, clings. If you over apply it in layers, then it will very quickly run off the side of the car because that'll make it too heavy. Take a look at the front of the car. You can see how well it clings and then if you over apply it, or put too many layers down you can see that it just drops right off the car and all that foam that could have been cleaning the car just lying on the ground cleaning the ground total waste of product so if you get your technique correct you should actually have quite a good experience with the product 
And of course, if you want to have it a little bit thinner, you can always turn the dial on the top of the Snowform Lands. Just a half turn back. Let's see how we get on with this. Oh. Well, it's taken a few seconds for the, the product to actually come work its way through the lands there just by turning the dial down a quarter turn. That's not, that's not very good. It seems like a bit of a fault with the lands that actually... But the snow foam itself, look at it. I mean, it's just... It's like skimmed milk. It's running off really, really quickly and landing on the ground with having no effect on the car whatsoever. And you can see from the left hand side with us messing around like that this, the foam is still sticking on the car so it's doing its job really well with clinging power but i'm really quite disappointed in the lancy's mixing control at the top i mean if you can only get the snow foam at the maximum level and turn it down slightly and you just get more more water than anything then for 40 quid for the snow foam lance that's a, an extreme disadvantage as far as i'm concerned but let's try not to be negative. One of the positive notes of turning down the dial on the top of it is that yes it dilutes it slightly more and makes it thinner but it also means it uses less product because there's more, less product coming from the bottle and more water. Now if you're one of these types that likes to go around layering layer after layer after layer of snow foam on I've put six layers now on the back of the car here and it's now starting to get to this similar consistency of where you can see on the left hand side and it's actually clinging and doing quite well. So maybe my initial thoughts on the thinner foam going on because that, that there isn't the same as when we first applied it when the water came, came out of it first. So it seems to have sort of balanced itself possibly, I don't know. But certainly the clinging power of it is from the, the left hand side of the car, you couldn't argue with that. There's six layers of thinner foam built up and it's clinging on quite well. Now that's quite useful on a warm day where you know snow foam drying out can be a, a bit of a problem. Auto Glim say that do not leave this on the car for more than 10 minutes. So we'll give it a few more minutes and we'll give it a rinse off and we'll see where we are from there. Now we've seen snow foams on the channel but by now they would have completely have disappeared off the car. This is still here so that has to be commended. It's a very clingy snow foam and on a maintenance wash could possibly even allow you enough time to go around and quickly clean up your wheels before you uh, rinse off the whole amount. So you know time saving wise it could be a, could be a winner. Well, I certainly have no trouble rinsing off the snow foam off the car using the Capture K4. With it being so clingy, you would possibly expect it to be you know, a little bit tougher to remove, but this is actually coming off very, very simple. The other clingier snow foam that I've found is a Angel Wax Fast Foam, and I found that it tends to have that sort of clingy residue to remove as you're rinsing it off and it just needs that, that sort of bit more power just to take off the top layer of suds and then underneath it there's that sort of clingy layer but the, you know the, the autoglim one seems to be coming off no complaints whatsoever
Now I agree I'm looking at this just now and it does actually look as though the car was already clean before we started but believe me it, it wasn't. You'll see in a moment just the tide line, just, it's, it's one good thing that you actually see about cleaning your, uh, rinsing off the snow foam from the bottom as you can see the tide line starting to, uh, to come up the car of the mud. You can just see it there, you can see how it's removing that grime. Hopefully there you'll be able to see just that tide line just as the pressure washer just helps to lift off the grime with ease. Yeah, the cleaning power for a pH neutral snow foam is doing very well. But there are times when you have to look for something a bit stronger. So this bit of grime here kicked up from the tyre just needs a little bit of citrus just to help dissolve whatever that is that's on there. Okay, so the Polar Blaster Snow Foam Lance, what did I think about it? We'll go into the snow foam a little bit later. Polar Blaster, it's a well-made bit of kit. Very, very robust, very good plastics. Only comes with a Karcher attachment in the box. Now that can be obviously made into the Quick Connect attachment. So you can either use the quarter inch Quick Connect or the Karcher one. Now, if you want to be cheap about it you can, and you have a nil fisk adapter in your house you can always unscrew that and then just screw the nil fisk one back on but if you go into autoglim's website they actually stock all of the accessories which go on to the end of that if i think they're just over three pounds each i think they are so if you wanted to get one of these and you had if you uh, have a nil fisk or a q alto bosch something like that then that would be available for that. In the video when you saw when we used this and we turned the dial back slightly to get a slightly weaker foam or a slightly less thick foam on the car and water just came out and a few seconds later then some foam came out. Slightly concerned about that because you know you've already done your pre-rinse, you've got most of the crap off you've allowed the car to dry slightly so you, when you go back in with the foam again you're attacking the traffic film that's there if there's water going on to it first then the foam then surely that's just going to allow the foam just to fall straight off we ended up putting in what what was it six layers of snow foam so you're, you'd be there all day going backwards and forwards backwards and forwards if you get this and uh, you want to just get the best results from it my advice from it would be leave it on the minus put one coat of the sticky snow foam on top and just leave that side and go around and do the rest of the car and then just walk away for 10 minutes and come back and rinse it off so that really covers the snow foam lens other than the fact that it's mostly brass um, construction that we have here albeit your connections and your fan nozzle at the end so all in all for 40 pounds it's not for me i wouldn't pay 40 pounds for it. i didn't pay 40 pounds for it i got it in that halfords cock up they did with the trade uh, cards that they had did anybody else manage to get one i know quite a few of them are selling them on ebay and facebook marketplace and stuff they managed to scoop up the, the entire stock at halfords i think so moving on the snow foam itself now this is just a little it doesn't like it two and a half litre, cutie little bottle here, um, two and a half litre drum of the snow foam. It's a pH neutral snow foam, again, with many snow foams, it's a salt based thing, a bit like fairy liquid, that's salt based as well. It's not fairy liquid, it's snow foam, you know, don't be putting any ideas into your heads. But Polar Blast snow foam, great instructions on the back telling you what to do with it, five to one dilution, so you could use 100 ml if you want, top it up with another 500 millilitres of water cold or warm it's entirely up to yourself what you use because at the end of the day it's coming from the mains pressure through your pressure washer if you've got warm water in the snow foam lens bottle what's it really going to do coming out the other side it's going to be cold again anyway isn't it by the time it hits your car 
So yeah, I liked the snow foam. I liked how it went on thick. I liked how the cling time was good and it allowed any uh, dirt and really grimy stuff to actually, the snow foam to do its stuff, to bite into that and to hold on to it for 10 minutes while it softened it. That worked really well. Now I'm not one for going run about at the snow foam stage and doing your little brush work uh, through the window ledges and rubbers and badges and all that kind of stuff because you're trying to get as much dirt off the car as possible when you're going round about it with brushes. For me, it's the wrong time. So the 10 minute dwell, you could be, already, you could be going and filling up your buckets um, with water, getting ready for your shampoo wash, something like that. Or you could go and make yourself a coffee. <laughs> uh, so anything like that you can go and use that 10 minutes wisely be careful in this in the in the sun when it comes out if it, if it ever comes back out um, be careful in this direct sunlight um, using any any snow foam at all not just this one the thinner ones especially will dry out a lot quicker than the thicker ones but the thicker ones may fall off the car quicker because they're too heavy Auto Glim one seems to just get that balance absolutely perfect. You can see from these shots here that it just clings and clings and clings and the more it clings then it does help to soften and dissolve that dirt. So that's it, that's the end of the review. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video guys. Take care now, see you later, cheerio bye!